Metals have very special properties, including their malleability or bendability and their ability to conduct electricity. It has to do with their structure, their bonding, the metallic bonding. Here we see H2. Two molecules of hydrogen obviously have the same electron activities, so the electrons are stuck between the two hydrogens. They're shared equally between the hydrogens, and the electrons stay there as a bond. We call these localized electrons. They don't move from between the two hydrogen nuclei. In water, H2O, oxygen, which is more electronegative, pulls the electrons towards it. Oxygen has a partial negative charge. Hydrogens have a partial positive charge. But the electrons are still localized between the nuclei of the oxygen and the hydrogen. This is a polar covalent bond. The electrons are unequally shared between the oxygen and the hydrogens, but they are localized. Here we have sodium chloride. The chlorine has a much higher electronegativity, so the electrons are completely drawn to the chlorine. That gives the chlorine a negative charge. The electrons are still localized, but now they're not in between the two nuclei. They're attracted to only the chlorine nuclei. The sodium, because it's lost its valence electron, has a positive charge. This is an ionic bond. So we've seen that when nonmetals react with nonmetals, we get some type of covalent bond, either polar or nonpolar, depending on the difference in electronegativities. When a metal bonds with a nonmetal, the difference in electronegativities allows the nonmetal often to take the electron, and this forms an ionic bond. But what happens when a metal is bonded to a metal? We know that metals do not have strong electronegativities. They don't have a strong pull on the electrons that are around them. Here we see two metallic nuclei with electrons surrounding them. The nuclei are attracted to a whole bunch of electrons, but it's not a strong enough pull to localize them between the nuclei. The electrons are free to move around, and there's an attraction between all of the nuclei and all of the electrons as they flow around. Here we have a bunch of metallic nuclei. They're arranged in a lattice, a structure where they're all lined up. The electrons are floating around. We say they are in a sea of electrons. The electrons are delocalized. They aren't between any two nuclei. They're free to move. And as they move around, there's attractions between them and the nuclei throughout the sample. We call this metallic bonding. The nuclei are in a lattice, and the delocalized electrons are free to move. Because of metal's low electronegativity, the electrons are delocalized. Because those electrons are delocalized, metals have special properties. Metals are very durable. They are bendable. They conduct electricity because those electrons can flow. They're very strong. The metals, because of that lattice, stay strong and are useful as tools, but don't shatter when they're hit. They're malleable. They bend because those lattice can slightly bend because the electrons are delocalized.